Hi guys, with the ever-changing world in real estate, I thought I'd just provide an updated video when it comes to bidding at auctions. Now, the first thing I'll always tell all buyers is to do your groundwork, to do the preparation work when it comes to buying properties. Number one, of course, is to do your finances. Just remember, when it comes to auctions, things haven't changed in this regard that you can only bid unconditionally. You simply cannot bid on a subject to finance basis, which I understand not everyone can do, but certainly, even during these times, where banks are taking a little bit longer to process loans, it's always advisable to get your finances in check and certainly seek the best information available in that regard. Uh, when it comes to buying any property, but especially at auction and you're bidding, uh, of course, on an unconditional basis, you want to research recent sales. And what I mean by that is this, the market is always changing. So what you've got to do when you're looking for properties and you find one that you do like, to make sure that you've got the right information that you find the right sales surrounding the property and that are of comparable nature to the one that you're looking for, whether it be by attributes, size, location, and the like. This will give you a good understanding, of course, of what the market is currently doing. My best advice is to search within the last three months because anything that is six months to 12 months and beyond old information may not be relevant for the current market. One of the things that you always got to do is to watch other auctions. You want to make sure that you're viewing other auctions before you bid at an auction just so you get an understanding. Uh, auctions these days can be conducted not just on site where you're in front of the auctioneer uh, and the auction is in front of you, uh, but certainly it can be done online. The best auctions should have both capacities available. So if you are doing some research, it's very easy to be able to just view it online, go to any of the, I guess, platforms that are out there to view auctions. And if we get an idea of what an auction is like, on that side of it, it gives you ideas on strategies, tactics, what buyers do, what how auctioneers operate. And one of the smartest things is this, to look at maybe the auctioneer that you could be, uh, I guess, up against on auction day, see some of their other auctions that have done in the past, or maybe watch some of their current auctions before your auctions takes place, so you get an understanding standing on how they operate and how they do things as well. Because of course some limitations that we do have these days. In Victoria, uh, sometimes there's no one that can attend the auctions. I know in other states there's limitations of how many people can attend a property auction. Uh, there are registrations required for the people to be in attendance and of course registrations required for you to bid online as well. My strong suggestion is that if you do like a property, you're interested and you do want to bid at a property, to register early. Not only of course if you register early, Early, you'll be the first on the list so that you'll be potential, of course, on site if you prefer to be on site in front of the actual auctioneer yourself. Or of course, if you register early, the auctioneer, but also to the salesperson involved with the actual campaign, they'll be able to provide you updates ongoingly throughout the campaign in case there were any changes as well. This is really, really good advice and initiative from your part. One of the things that I note from buyers is that they tend to be a little bit tentative and scared when it comes to bidding. Uh, of course, everyone can be a little bit nervy when it comes to taking action at an auction. Often the most used strategy is people wait and watch what happens before actually making the move themselves. Uh, as an auctioneer, I tend to see that this is not always the best move. I'd rather uh, a bidder be comfortable with their bidding. Now, you've done all your homework beforehand. You know the type of price ranges and the type of, you can say, brackets that you're willing to go up to for a certain property. Now, if you've got that in place already, don't hesitate that if you're bidding lower and up to that amount. The reason for that is this. If other people are hesitating and you're hesitating, no one's in the best position. What we want is what you to be in the best position to buy the property. Now, for you to be in that position, you need to be the highest bidder. Now, if you put the first bid and you're always the highest bidder, just remember, you're putting pressure on the actual other buyers. In fact, you're forcing them to make a decision. So you're actually putting yourself at ease, probably feeling less nervy, knowing that you're in more control during the auction itself. Now, the two of the most common things that buyers want to hear or buyers want to see during the auction is this. Number one is to hear the words on the market. Number two is the, the fact that they do want the first right to negotiate when it comes to post-auction negotiating in the event that wasn't sold in the moment. But what I want you to understand is this, as owners and auctioneers analyzing the auction, the owners, they will only be prepared to put the property on the market if they see open competition. We got, got to understand if there is no open competition or there is no bidding activity, the owners are less likely to put the property on the market for you to be able to buy immediately. Now, I do understand that you want to buy as less as possible. However, if you were to feel restricted and everyone else were to be inhibited as well, just note that the owners will feel exactly the same way. 
it's almost a two-way street. If the owner sees the action from the buyers, they're more likely to put the property on the market a bit earlier. And just remember, being the highest bidder at an auction, even if the property was the pass in, you secure exclusivity when it comes to trading with the agent and the owner and finding out what the owners are looking for. So if that was to be the position you're gonna be in, you're gonna be in the box seat when it comes to securing the property post auction. Uh, don't be afraid to ask agents for help. Now, if you're not knowing what to do, you need some advice, how things are going to speak with the agent that's actually involved with the campaign. They're gonna give you the right indications of how the market is going, where the owners are potentially looking at, and certainly during the course of the auction, they can give you tips, live tips during the auction as well to help you with the endeavor of buying the property. Uh, last but not least is that for an auction, keep an open mind. We all want to buy at wonderful, best value and best price. We all want to buy for as low as possible. But just remember, for that extremely desirable property, for the property that you really want, you've got to keep the open mind that maybe it'll take just that little bit extra for you to be able to secure the property. Remember, good properties, especially in these markets, are very, very hard to come by. Not often do you get to see a similar opportunity to the one that you really love. So if it ends up being the one that you must have or that you really want to have, don't be afraid to stress just that little bit more. I always tell my buyers that whatever you invest today, just remember, look over the five, 10 year, 15 year outlook that you're likely gonna be residing at the property, that little investment is gonna seem very minute to probably the capital gains that you'll experience down the track as well. Hopefully that helps with your next auction, folks. If you were to seek any further assistance, feel free to contact ICL Group at 8558 3000.